Guardian Through the Seasons. I'm Wayne Wells with Extension, Mississippi State University Extension Service. Today we're housed at the, the Mississippi State University uh, North Farm uh, Turf Research Facilities and the topic today is uh, managing weeds in our landscape. Probably most of us uh, have problems with weeds from time to time in our gardens or in our lawn and uh, we hope today by the, this discussion we'll be able to pick out some of those things that help us and even our lawns prepare ourselves better for weed management. Uh, a couple of few basic steps that I usually cover and talked about is uh, first we need to practice good turf management. Understand weed types and their growth uh, cycles. Develop simple identification techniques. We need to learn basic herbicide terminology. And finally, we need to develop some calibration and application skills to put those herbicides out successfully. As I look at the quality of this turf, it's very nice and dense and healthy, nice good color, mowed properly, weed free. And that goes back to that first step that we talked about. Good quality turf and good cultural practices are the key to competition in weeds. We can keep the competition out by proper mowing, put fertilizer out when the, when the grass needs to be fertilized. We also need to maintain our water regime on the grass to keep it good and healthy and also protect it from other diseases and insects that may weaken the turf and thin it out so the weeds can have a chance. Good cultural practices are the key to weed management. Our third step in good management of turf is, uh, weeds are to uh, understand the weed types and the growth cycles of those different weeds. For instance, we have grasses, which may be annuals or perennials. We have sedges, which can also be annuals or perennials. Most of them are perennials. And we also have broad leaves, which can be both of those. Now, the different types of growth habits may be winter annuals, since they grow in the wintertime and go through the spring, or summer annuals like this crabgrass over here that actually grows in the summertime. So knowing those different types, when they grow, and the type of grass, grasses, sedges, or broad leaves will help us identify those weeds and how to categorize to control them. Our fourth step takes a little bit more work on their part, but I think over time you certainly can do that, and that's being able to take some of those characteristics of those different weeds to help identify them. For instance, some of the things we use from time to time is a seed head. You can see this one here has different little uh, finger type of seed head on it. This one has just a single stalk across the top of it, another may be branching out. Or we maybe even use the color of the flowers on uh, weeds to help identify them. Or the way the weeds are, whether they're viney or whether they're bushy type weeds, whether the leaf margins are smooth or whether they're serrated. We may even look at the stems and see whether they're triangular like on a sedge or whether they're round stems and hollow on grasses. Even with those good cultural practices that we've talked about, occasionally we do get some weeds that escape or come through, and so we have to rely somewhat on the herbicides. And that's where the, the, the part of it we talked about a while ago, getting familiar and understanding the different uh, terminology for herbicide use or pesticides is certainly beneficial to you. And we can see in this shot right here, we have some crabgrass that has come up, and actually we didn't get it with a pre-emerge herbicide. A pre-emerge herbicide is one of those that we actually prevents seed, seeds from germinating and actually developing into weeds. Post-emerge herbicides are those that we use on existing weeds, such in this case here. So we've applied a post-emerge herbicide to take out this existing crabgrass and this Bermuda grass turf. To be successful with herbicides, it's absolutely critical that we understand calibration and application techniques. Whether or not we're using a, a liquid spray or whether we're using a granule application, whether or not it's a single nozzle or maybe a multi-nozzle sprayer, it's important that we actually know exactly what we're putting out because it's not so much that we the volume of water we put out is the active ingredient per surface area. For instance, if we go twice the speed one place and half the speed the other difference, we may actually be double to four times the rate. When we double the speed, we cut the rate in half. If we cut the speed in half, we actually double the rate. So it's important if you don't understand calibration to be sure you do that before you start applying per herbicides. To help you get more definitive on exactly what weeds you have and be very specific as far as their, their growth habits and those type things, Certainly uh, resources are always good to have. This little book publication, Weeds for Southern Turf Grasses, is certainly an excellent one for you. Also look at the internet websites. They also give you excellent pictures of uh, turf grasses from time to time and different weeds you see in them. To be able to find more information about actual herbicide terminology and how to apply those herbicides and actually which herbicides to put on different grasses and so forth, let me recommend two of our extension publications I think that would be very helpful to you. The first one is Establish and Manage Your Home Lawns, which is publication 1322. And the second one is publication number 1532, We Control Guidelines from Mississippi. And then when you look in there, you'll find a turf section that actually lists the herbicides that we can use in, in, in turf grasses, the uh, use rates we can apply, when to apply those, and so forth. So these two publications can be downloaded off of the Extension website or picked up from your local Extension office. Thank you for jo joining us for uh, Guardian Through the Seasons today, and we hope that these tips on weed management help you in better managing the weeds in your lawn and landscape. 
and I'm Wayne Wells, Extension Turf Specialist from Mississippi State University.